Hey buddy, it's Invictus. Time for another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Tuesday, Mosh Pit. I hope your Tuesdays are going off to a great start. We're still waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes after the holiday weekend. A couple of them are very close. So definitely go check those out if you've not already. And here's your awesome, super wholesome picture of the day sent in by Last Shopping. The title thread was, we bonded over Sinvicta, and now we're living together. And then they added on the thread down below on the Reddit thread, they said, my boyfriend and I met through our jobs. We worked different stories or different stores in the same mall and eventually started talking to each other outside of work too. Mostly his friends, but also had a huge crush on him. One night, he told me he was watching the Binding of Isaac video from a YouTuber he watches. And at this point, I'd been watching Sinvicta pretty regularly for about a year. So in the off chance it was him, I asked him who it was. And of course, he said Sinvicta. We instantly bonded over it, and we started seeing each other. We would always watch a new video together while we would eat our dinner or go to sleep. Now, here we are almost three years later sitting in the house we just bought on our brand new couch, watching none other than our favorite YouTuber, Sinvicta. P.S. We also had a little kitty who loves to attack the spiders in the game when we watch Sinvicta on the big TV. That is one of like the greatest mosh pit stories I think I've ever heard. So thank you for sharing that last shopping, and congrats to you. That's a, that's a big accomplishment. And uh, it's it's always good to see. It's like that kind of thing always makes my day. Oh my god, we're starting with sausage here. Eight golf, uh, Foxtrot Lima, Alpha Charlie, nine kilo. We've got sausage, so that means we're gonna have great stats here. Uh, we also have the Eternal D Sizzle, which eh, you know I'm. I think everyone knows I'm not a huge fan of the Eternal D Six, namely just because of the fact that like it can obviously like take away your item pedestal, but sometimes it doesn't. Um, it's a very cheap reroll in case you have nothing else to do. Uh, the only reason why I'm taking Dad's key right now is just because I want to try to see if we can get ourselves into, like, the secret room or super secret room, something like that. Obviously, I absolutely hate this room here because the random demon fires can randomly fire at you randomly, and then they can randomly cause random damage to you, which would randomly get me very randomly mad. Um, but, yeah, the we'll probably end up re-rolling Dad's key. Not that Dad's key is bad or anything, but I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, we get a little bit of value out of there. Uh, I am willing to lose Dad's key. Just for the sake of re-rolls, I mean, the Eternal D6, it, it, if, if it works out in your favor, then great. But just be prepared for it not to. <laughs> you find the shop in the super secret room there. Again, I'm just trying to save a bomb. Um, I guess we could try to get one more full charge on Dad's key to get the secret room. I'm not exactly sure where the secret room is right now. It's probably... Well, of course it's not here. I mean, <laughs> what, what, what kind of what kind of moron would, you, would think it was here? Obviously. Um... Where is that secret room? It might be... It actually might be north of the item room, because the boss room is going to be here. So... Or it's to the right of the starting room, which is a little bit of an odd spot for it, but... Or it's not any of them. Okay, so it's definitely... It's definitely above the secret room. Or above the uh, item room, I mean. It's the only other place it could feasibly be. No, it can't be there. You know what? I don't even care anymore. We get Ares, so thanks to the Eternal D-Sizzle giving us a nice movement speed upgrade, which is exactly what we needed. Um, obviously, our starting stats are going to be fantastic because of the sausage. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I don't know if the external information mod will actually show you, uh, or if not the external information mod, but the in-game um, UI will show you if the expansion pack, like what item it actually gets you. Figure it out. Ares is going to give us a nice movement speed. Like I said, it does also work and give you like some kind of advantage. It, it like you can call you can deal damage if you run at an enemy at, at full speed or something like that. I don't know. Ares is one of those items that like I just over the years I just I don't even pay attention to other than the other than the the movement speed upgrade. That's the only thing I care about when we get Ares. Although the goat horns do look kind of cool though. I will admit, they look pretty metal. But we do not suffer our obligatory. Uh, normal hit against baby plum i have no I, I have no clue where that secret room is the the only the only feasible spot it could be it's we know it's not there it can't be there uh, yeah i i don't know man i really don't know uh, i'm gonna grab a bomb it's probably one of those really really bad secret rooms where it's like it's off of like one of the it, it's like it, it, it's it acts like a super secret room. That's the only thing that I can think of. Uh, and I'm not going to waste a key over there. As we get rocking and rolling here on the second floor, we'll go back to last week's question of the episode from last Tuesday, which was the slicing technique episode uh, where we had Mom's Knife and Ludovico. And I simply asked, what did you think of Ludovico this time around? 
Again, Ludo is always going to be the, one of those polarizing items in the community. People are going to love it. Or people are going to hate it. Uh, the number one most upvoted comment came in from Trashman D, or Trashman or Bob's Brain Guy, uh, who simply said, honestly, it's great at times, but way too independent or way too dependent on uh, good item synergies. And that can be said for pretty much most of the items in Isaac, right? That will take speedball. This is going to pretty much almost max out our movement speed to my tolerance anyway, which I am fine with. We also gain some shot speed here and uh, get one towards uh, one towards spun. But, you know, that that can that can literally be said for most of the mediocre items that we see in Repentance. And you have to have you, you have to you got to have good items to make good items. Right. And it's, it's just it's it's kind of the same thing where we, we talk about you know, synergies, synergies being, I don't want to say situational, but they can be ooh, ourselves a cardio coin. Um, situationally amazing is how is the best way to describe most of the synergies in Isaac that sort of prop up like bad items and turn, you know, mediocre items into good items. I wouldn't even say that Ludovico is like mediocre. I'd say it is bad, but that's just me. Uh, the second most upvoted comment came in from, I'm going to say, Sumisu or, or Sum, Sumisu, who said, Ludo is honestly one of my most hated items. I would rather use Marked, but with some synergies such as Mom's Knife, Tech X, Brimstone, it can be quite good. Again, just kind of echoing what uh, Bob's Brain Guy did say. And last but not least, we also had DNA4063, who said, sometimes, I'm t sometimes taking it for the sake of varying the gameplay, as most games are somehow repetitive. Uh, great item to take if you want to spice up your run, but Ludo can also ruin a run, uh, but not but make everything more difficult than it should be. So overall, not a bad item, but not amazing either. And yeah, that's that's Ludo for you. Like, it's like it... Oh, that was pretty nice. It's like it it exists to make items or to make runs more difficult. Get Guppy's Paw. I mean, I am going to take Guppy's Paw here, and then we'll go for the Miracle Reroll, and maybe the Eternal D-Sizzle won't screw us. And it didn't. All right. So far, so good. Um... We've not been to the store yet. We definitely have enough money to get a premium item, so I'm going to go look for that real quickly here. Yeah, yeah this is going to be two bombs and two... going to be two bombs and two keys for 15 cents. It's not a bad... It's not a bad value, but at the same time, it's not great either. It being uh, Pandora's box, so Super Secret Room should be here. I'll take a stab at it. Maybe there's a Temperance Machine in there. There's not, but there is a lot of stuff. We got a Strength card here. We got some hearts. Got a Golden Heart. And uh, you know, Wiggle Worm is not bad. It does give you a, a Tears Up, so I'm willing to take it over the Trickle Charge. And uh, oh, hang on now, hang on, hang on now, hang on a second now. Now the Devil Deal is going to stay open, and we have another charge on the Eternal D Sizzle. I will take another reroll. I mean. Yeah. I can turn that down. We also have Wrath over here. We're in no real hurry to get to the next floor yet. We're still making good time for boss rush. Has to be expected with a sausage start. By the way, Wiggle Worm also gives us spectral tears in case you did not know, which is very nice. Really game defensive plays. Okay. Well, hang on again now. Hang on now. <laughs> now if we're going to get a reroll, might as well use it in the store. I mean, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Yes, sir, Bob. I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, I'll take a, I'll take a card reading. Oh, baby. Um, now there's one turd in the punch bowl here is that we won't have a reroll for this boss room. Uh, because obviously. You know, we're, if we do get a devil deal, we're not going to have a full charge unless there's a Krampus in there or something like that. But taking the portal straight to the boss does free up a lot of confusion, a lot of Sinvicta navigation. Um, there are advantages and disadvantages to skipping straight to the boss. Obviously, the yellow portal would have taken us to the item room, whereas the red portal takes us directly to the boss, as we talked about. And then there's a third portal, which is the blue portal from card reading, and that would take us to the secret room, guaranteed. So... Overall, I think card reading is just always going to be a net positive for a run. Again, it's all about just giving you options, right? You get Jesus Juice. Now, we have the Strength card, which is good. 
Ooh, man, yeah. Yeah, I would have loved to have gotten a reroll here. I mean, sulfur is too. Sulfur's too good not to take. But do we but do we get do we pick up the eternal D six in the in the off chance that we're able to come back in here? That would have totally wasted sulfur at that point. I don't think so. Sulfur does also contribute to the Leviathan transformation, so it's hard for me to pass up sulfur, man. Like an on demand brimstone that gives you a damage upgrade. Sign me up. The Wiggle Worm uh, Sulfur or, or Brimstone combo just looks too cool, too. So what's nice about Sulfur is that it does have a stacking damage buff you can use. But I got to say, you know, I got to hand it to the the Eternal D-Sizzle. It really did. It, it didn't fail us once, which is ironic. Because normally, for me, anyway, with Invicta Luck, you usually see the Eternal D-6 pretty much pop off and not do anything. It, it will it will pop all your item pedestals away from you. That's what it does. When they talk about go off king. They they mean like yeah, take literally take the item pedestal off of the screen. That's what that, that's that's the job of the eternal D6. <clears throat> so we don't have enough money to really make a shop worthwhile right now. Maybe we could go exploring for it, but I kind of want to see if we can get a full charge. Okay. So it it would have closed down either way. Um I'm going to check the mines real quick because there usually sometimes is a tinted rock in here. There's not this time, but we had the bombs to do it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ride or die with sulfur. Let's go. Sulfur, sulfur is going to keep us safe for quite a bit. Okay, so this time around, we do not get the... Red portal, and we're gonna get our second book here with the Anarchist Cookbook. But for card reading, again, it just it all comes back to the the concept of choice and options in Isaac. You know, which one do we need to go to the item room? Do we need to go to the boss room? Do we want to go like do we have teleport 2.0? We need to find that guaranteed secret room. All that stuff leads to just more options, means more freedom, it means more safety. It just means more everything in the, in the player's favor. And that's, that is why I'm always such a huge, huge, huge supporter uh, of any items that give you more options to choose from, more choice, more variables to kind of take away from the game's decisions, put them in your hands. That That is, that is in my opinion, the safest way to play. Wow, we get a random bone heart from a fire? Okay. Absolutely going to take one of those, and I will take another soul heart here. We still have the strength card, which we can use in the devil deal is most likely probably not going to show up on this floor. We have a very odd 35.5% chance for a devil deal, which is not that is that is an unusual amount of a chance there. There we go. And another random soul heart now. Nah, sorry, sorry Petrify Poop, you're a little bit too a little bit too late on that. Now I didn't I did kind of goof up a little bit here. I should have waited for us to get sulfur on a full charge. Nice little dual shot there from uh, Bookworm. If you see us have a, a double shot every now and then, that is from the Bookworm transformation. Um, actually, no, wait. We don't have the Bookworm transformation. What am I talking about? That was uh, not Bookworm, but uh, Eye Drops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, hopefully, we do get the Bookworm transformation because then we'll be firing three shots sometimes. Or at least what appears to be three shots. Get Pageant Boy. That's just... Super duper awesome. So good. Seven, seven cents. That's just thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, pageant boy. Now we have the full charge. Definitely going to go straight for the boss here with sulfur. Just gonna sit here and just salt and pepper uh, cage here.
If we do happen to lose our Golden Heart and Cage, that would give us a little bit more money to spend, especially now with restock uh, for the for the shop. We could bolster our HP a little bit. Again, a really, really odd percentage here for uh, the Devil Deal, 71%. And uh, it doesn't matter anyway because we didn't get it, so... I now feel more confident in my pick of sticking with Sulfur than staying with the Eternal D6, as uh, we would have only had one reroll on a Devil Deal, and that would have been it up to this point, meaning that the uh, Guppy Dream is pretty much all but over now. Lover's Card, Temperance Machine, Judgment. Um, I mean, we can use the Temperance Machine and Lover's Card in here, I guess. A little bit of extra Moolah. We go. I'm not going to use the strength card because, again, in the off chance that we happen to get a devil deal, uh, once again, we will be able to use that as currency. There you go. And sulfur, again, with these sort of like unknown, you can't see across the screen type rooms, sulfur just keeps you safe. There's just no reason not to use sulfur in that situation or, or in most situations. Like, again, giving you the option. Do we want to really just like guarantee that we get through this room clear and free? We want to try to risk it and save sulfur for maybe a, a little bit more difficult room somewhere where we are going to take uh, like have a ch have a tendency to take more damage against more annoying mobs like Mr. Mines for example. Um you know, just making you just giving you the power of choice and making you stronger. That's that's what that's the secret to Isaac. That's really it. Don't let the game screw you over. We've all seen it happen before. Get card reading here. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take card reading. Combine another soul heart. Card reading is going to double the effect of our uh, tarot cards, and we have a we have a. I mean, the sun cards probably a little bit better here than the strength card. Many keys, unfortunately. We could go back and buy some keys if we really, really wanted to. But again, we have plenty of time here to make boss rush. So, and what's good about this is with the sun card on the next floor, um, we are we are going to know exactly where we need to go outside of knowing where the uh, the tinted skull is. But hopefully, we'll find that in relatively quick succession. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to take the free portal over to the item room and laugh because it's, you know, a little low-key. All right, so what we're looking for here is we are looking for the Tinted Skull so we can get out of Boss Rush. And here's the hoping that our Boss Rush is not doo-doo. Because it does tend to be doo-doo in a very doo-doo filled game with lots of doo-doo. Safety scissors, which don't really matter to us too much because we don't have to worry about having bombs in our face. So safety scissors is a very good way to generate bombs in case you happen to not have a whole lot. The amount of bombs that you get to see in this silly game. We do have a sack room here, but it's... Mm, I don't know. Not sure if I'm willing to play it yet. I'm gonna probably buy another key. Well, let's let's wait on that because I'd like to put some money in the donation machine. Um, again, we're just looking for the tinted skull here. Go up and hit the spike over here without us interfering. I don't think. A bit weird. And our tears rate is keeping up with it. Now, one thing that I will say we are not keeping up with is our damage. Um, damage has not been... Like, it, it's been great that we started with uh, sausage and everything. <coughs> I'm real happy for us. Uh, but we're going to need a little bit something more for me to be considered... For me to consider playing the sack room. Um, especially now that we don't have that strength card. I don't know, man. Get into this golden chest here. 
Okay, there's another heart we can use, but I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I still, I, the sack room, this doesn't feel like a, a run that we can really dominate yet. It's going to come down to what do we get from our guaranteed sixth floor <laughs> devil room. Very odd to say. Now, if we end up getting a Krampus fight, then that kind of like kills the dream at that point. I mean, our dream is pretty much dead in terms of like having like a super powerful devil deal run. I'm hoping that we can somehow sneak Leviathan out of here. Like if we get like the mark and like, I don't know, maybe the pact or something. Uh, we need damage, so I am going to take the negative. And that's not what I was looking for. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm going to take... I'm going to take Lusty Blood. And then we're going to take uh, Nine Lives. And then we're going to take Sinvicta Robes. Okay. Now the Guppy Dream is still alive. I'm actually going to take Lard. This might be a really weird, weird spot, but it gives us two HP. And we don't need the HP, or we don't need the movement speed, right? Like, we're already, like, way maxed out on movement speed, so I don't mind dropping it a little bit. Like, anything above 1.75 is a little bit too fast. There's Stars card, too. Man, oh, man. Oh, that was a weird little bounce there. Well, didn't matter anyway. So, Lusty Blood, of course, is going to give us that stacking damage buff that we all know and love. It's been showing up quite a lot lately, and I'm okay with that. Me and Lusty Blood get along just fine. And uh, now we can play the sack room. Um, especially with two HP containers here. If we really, really needed to, we could also... No, never mind, we can't. There's no hearts in here. That's fine. Let's put some money back in our donation machine. Donation machine guy. Gonna be real happy about that as we now approach almost $8. Feels good, man. Shout out to, shout out to the donation guy. Obviously, this is not going to have any effect as we've already gone over and gotten into our double deals to get more and more money. Get Immaculate Heart. Okay. I'm not going to turn down that as that is an HP upgrade. Soul Heart up there as well. Yeah, we get 30 cents. All right. So, wasn't too bad as we do get an HP upgrade with Immaculate Heart. I mean, Immaculate Heart does give us more damage, too. Um, I'm not feeling bold enough to go do the Dark Chest skip, however. Um, we can load up on keys for the last, you know, couple of cents that we've got here. Yeah, that's good. I am I will not pay 15 cents a key. I don't care how much money we have. That's, that's just it's highway robbery. First the blind. Now is when we really want to start hopefully getting our red portals out. Um, because that will significantly reduce the risk of us going through these late game stages without you know, having like crazy amounts of tear effects or damage. Not that we're in trouble or, or anything, of course. But again, there's, there's really no, in my opinion anyway, this is just my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. But in my opinion, there's no real good options for exploring in late game levels that really make you stronger most of the time. Obviously, like doing some exploring and min-maxing, if you want to do that, go for it. Like you might find a sack room, you might find like a couple extra bombs or keys, or maybe if you're lucky, you get a tinted rock. But if you have like a pretty decent run going, there's nothing more safer than simply just going straight to the boss, right? It may not be the most exciting thing in the world to watch, um, but it definitely secures the bag for you and it gets you, it gets you some just the good old fashioned easy wins, right? Go to Matriarch here. Now, again, I made a little bit of a goof and did not, uh, give myself a full charge on Sulfur before coming in here against Matriarch, which would make this fight significantly easier. Remember, you cannot use bombs against Matriarch either. As she will just spit them right out at you once she turns into... Well, even when she turns into chub form, she still will just spit them out. And there goes our devil deal, so... Be, be happy about that. 
did not realize that we were down to no soul hearts. I also didn't even see that grub that she spat because she was kind of like masking it. Get blue cap, which does give us a nice tears up. And uh, oh, it was Curse of the Blind anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. No portal again, unfortunately. There's a vault here. Oh, yeah. Definitely used Star's card. And it took us right to the boss room. Yo, baby. Now we're talking. Now that's a Star's card right there, I tell you what. Just to the Super Seeker room, and okay, okay, okay. Now, the question is, do we look for a sacrifice room? I think we do. With that, with the womb room and that many hearts, it's hard to say no to a sacrifice room. We can find one because then now we get to the point where like the shoal skip definitely does make a lot of sense. If we can go straight to the dark room and not have to go through shoal. Did you talk about some of one of your more like useless levels in the entire game, shoal? There's... Talk about a level you absolutely do not have to do if you don't if you don't want to. That's that's show for you. And we get our Krampus fight for our last devil deal, so pretty happy about that. We get a lump of coal, which is gonna be excellent. Uh, with uh, wiggle worm and everything else. Okay, so the question is now, is there a sacrifice room on this floor? I really, really hope so. There's a tinted rock here as well. I don't want to be I don't want to be taking up soul hearts now because obviously, oh wow, double soul heart too. Obviously we want to, um, we want to make sure that we get all of those red hearts taken like out of the womb room, right? We don't want it to affect our soul hearts. We want to leave here with soul hearts. We can't do that if we do a, just a full tap clear of a, of a sack room, assuming there is one, which we don't know if there is right now. Wow. I'm actually shocked that the suit. Really? Oh, we've already been in the secret room. Never mind. I'm stupid. I'm not shocked that the secret room wasn't there because uh, we've already found it. Sacrifice room is not going to be over here. No. Got plenty of bombs here, so I don't mind using a bomb for a skip or two. I mean, if worse comes to worse, at least we still have the uh, we have the chance of getting the red portal on Shoal and into the dark chest. Should make looking for the sacrifice room like just completely totally useless but at least we get some we can get some value out of that womb room that's that'll be good yeah, this is this is start starting to feel like there's no no sac room here Now, if you're wondering what's broken our tears cap from 5.5 to 6, it is because we have Wiggle Worm. So, and honestly, shout out to Wiggle Worm. It's been a it's been a really nice little little buff that we've gotten. We've done a gr pretty good job at utilizing the special tears that we get from it. And honestly, like I'm I'm down. There ain't nothing wrong. Uh, no, there's nothing wrong with a little wiggle every now and then. Sometimes you, sometimes you just gotta wiggle, you know. Uh, we'll go check the vault since we're already here, and uh, there's a haunted chest and a whole lot of nothing. Another soul heart. I will take it because at this point, I'm pretty convinced we're not going to see a sack room. Yep, 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 yep. yep. It's okay. We could not do one full clear, right? So, um, we can go back. We can go check. I mean, we're 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 two or three of Guppy, so we might as well check the curse room here. Very happy that we did that, obviously. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if Hush is truly worth it. I mean, Hush is never worth it. Hush is really never worth it, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> we do have enough money to make a play at the shop. But it's still it's still Hush. I, I, don't, I don't think it's worth it. And we get our third blue portal in a row. Pretty, pretty stoked about that. Card reading kind of, kind of bummed me out a little bit. Now I'm not gonna lie. 
Did a lot of hype up for you. It's only by the by the graces of my <clears throat> super high intelligent and good mapping <clears throat> awareness that uh, we found the boss room in only one room. So you got bailed out there, card reading. But if there's ever a floor you want to deliver it on now, it's going to be the dark chest. Big Mr. Mega Bomb there. I was gonna save sulfur for the for the lamb, but then I figured we might as well use it against Stanley. Stanley is a pain in the you know what. And we've gotten four blue portals in a row. All right. We do get Guppy. Wow, we got Mega Guppy. Okay. Um, we don't need Guppy's Collar, so I'm not going to take Guppy's Collar. Uh, we also don't need... I mean, Leviathan would give... Like, we don't have Leviathan off of Lord of the Pit, and we, we already have Flying, so we don't need more movement speed. But we are going to get the Gupster. I want to say thank you to everyone who came out for Raid Shadow Legends, by the way, over the weekend. That was very awesome of you. Um, had a lot of people, had hundreds of people who stuck around after the first Isaac run just to support the stream and, uh, and uh, you know, just show the sponsors that, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a good idea finally working with me. Um, it, that was a long time coming, man, because, like, Raid had been talking to me for years, literally years, and I... I've always been like, eh, no, I don't think it's going to be right. Or like, you know, there's just certain conditions that just weren't, I, I weren't, I wasn't down with. Um, but pretty much 99% of, of the mosh pit was, was definitely down with the idea. They're just like, you know, get that money boo boo and get that bag and make that cheddar type thing. Whatever the, whatever the kids say back in the late two thousands. And that was really cool. Um, it was, it was very encouraging to see that. And, uh, you know, it meant a lot that people wanted to stick around and just, and just support my channel. Um, and I know, you know, I know the memes about about sponsored content, especially like Raid, because like obviously they've done lots of work throughout the influencer space over the years. And it's definitely worked in their favor because, I mean, everyone knows about Raid, love it or hate it. Um, but it was it was good. And I, I am anticipating doing more stuff. Um, you know, for if, if the sponsorship is right, I'm definitely going to do it if it makes sense for the channel, if it makes sense for the community and uh you know it's not like scummy in any way that that sort of thing is is something that i've always wanted to do it's just waiting for the right time to do it but also i do believe in in good clear concise communication yeah we do a victory lap where's the xl uh eden f mike 6J1. I'm, I was going to try to make something out of there. Uh, unfortunately, these portals are not real because, you know, repentance, bug, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but yeah, I, th I think that I have always, I I've always been a big believer in just clear communication with everybody who makes this channel for what it is. And, uh, you know, that that is what I attribute the almost overwhelming and, and, and exclusive positive reaction to uh, that rage stream. Because I know it's not everyone's jam, and I know, oh, there goes the devil deal. Um, I know that, you know, people are like, oh, mobile game, blah, 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 blah. I like, I get it. But like something else that a lot of people just get quote finger air quote get is that this, this is a job and it's like, yeah, just, you know, it's cool. We may not play the games that you, that you advertise, but we'll definitely be here to support you and that sort of thing. And, and that, that kind of stuff is like, it's insanely reassuring and very comforting to a content creator when we know that we can sort of not i don't want to say venture too far away from our bread and butter obviously but having the ability and the freedom to be like you know yeah we can do a sponsor stream here and there and people are people are down for it they may not totally support it but you know they're they're here to support you not not necessarily the sponsor of the game that sort of thing and you don't really see that in communities around around youtube or even twitch or you know anywhere else for that matter so that's one thing that i that i really really can sort of like show off and appreciate to other people uh or to yeah you know, to companies that sort of thing like look we've got a very supportive community they're really really down for 
I don't want to say anything and everything, and I'm certainly not going to abuse that freedom, but it, it's just reassuring. That, that's that's all I can say. It, it it left me. I left with a very very good impression uh, for the future of sponsored content. If it's done in the correct way and if it's done in a respectful way that doesn't sort of patronize or doesn't you know interrupt the flow of of the viewers' enjoyment, I think that it it can work in a in a positive way. It's not just overwhelmingly negative. You know. It is funny how these days this will, this will give us fun despite us having a speedball. It's funny and sad in a way how how you see some other communities react to sponsored content um, when it comes to YouTube videos. It's almost like people don't realize that like it's a business. You know, yes, we all started this as a hobby, and yes, it does. It, you know, only only a very select few of us are able to be blessed with the opportunity to do this as a full-time career um but lo what gets lost in the sauce sometimes is that it's still your job right like you gotta you gotta make money um that's just the that's just the nature of the beast if <laughs> if, you, if you're doing this pure out of pure hobby but then like you know you're letting bills slide and stuff like that it's it's a not a great existence um and uh, you know the to see the to see the reaction from the mosh pit and and really let people kind of be like, yeah, you know what, this is you no, know, it's cool. It's may it may not be my jam. We're here for Sinvicta. That it it really did make me feel great. Um, and I know that the agency and I know that the sponsors appreciated that too. Um, so, you know, I'm not. It's not going to be overly spammy in terms of sponsor stuff. I don't know in terms of like whether or not I'm going to do any in episode sponsored stuff yet. It's been brought it, that has been brought up a few times um, to me. To like like advertisers want to do like an in an id in ad or in episode sponsorship where you see like a HelloFresh ad or something. And, and no, I'm not naming these. I'm not naming these ads as if they've approached me. I'm just saying in general. Um, a, you know, a company will will say, "Hey, we'd like to put a we'd like to put a, a mid roll ad." like within the first 60 seconds or so in, in one of your Isaac videos. And a hundred percent of the time I've, I've said no. Um, it would have to be, it would have to make sense for me to do so, but also make sense from like, is this, is this going to be one of those things where like, it's not just a, it's not just a do it just because like the money is, is good or something like that. Like I want to make sure that if we do do something like that, it will be for a product or a company that like I'm really gung ho about or one that has a good reputation. Um, so, you know, and of course, as, as with the raid thing, you know, if, if we do have something like that coming our way soon, I will absolutely be a hundred percent transparent. Let everyone know about it. You know, there are some people who are just like, dude, it doesn't matter. Just do it. <laughs> just shut up and do it. And I'm like, I know, like I tend to over explain things when it comes to the business, but I try to keep people informed as well. I think that that's the, the best line of communication for people. Um, and the best way to, in my opinion, the best way to do things, because then people aren't surprised, or at least most people who pay attention to you, they're not surprised when they see that kind of thing. Um, and, you know, and they're more inclined to like, just want to support you. Like, hey, you know what? He was, he was upfront about it. He's cool about it. You know, yeah, I'll support this guy. And that's and, and that that kind of thing really is, it, it speaks wonders to me about about the mosh pit and what we've done over the years here. Absolutely, take the battery for sulfur, and we are going to get the compass as well. Everything is just coming up Millhouse in this run. It's been a while since we've had a face roll run, although this one didn't start. This one didn't start bad, of course, but you know, we were kind of we we're kind of trotting along a little bit here and there. Uh, eye drops doesn't matter. I don't think it stacks, but I'm going to take it anyway. And yeah, we definitely want to take the pentagram here. We do not want to take uh, a little delirium. I don't want to get too sappy, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mosh Pit, for giving me this opportunity to do this for so long. I don't know if I'm considered one of the OGs at this point of uh, of YouTube. I have been doing it for over a decade now, so I like to think that like I kind of earned my my place here. Um, 
Yeah, we got plenty of time. I mean, like we're we don't need to make boss rush, but we're just having fun now. Now we're just we're in the in the post run monologue era of this run. There isn't a day that goes by that I wake up and I don't feel lucky to be doing this. And between between what we've done this year for in Isaac and repentance, we've had it like it's been a great year of runs and a great year of growth on the channel. Between that and then you know, and then working the like doing the Pokemon stuff on on YouTube or on Twitch, I think I feel like I've really been hitting my stride in terms of in terms of what. I can do for this job that leaves me the happiest, but also works for the audience. And that's not something that a lot of people can really say these days about you know, the job. And I've always said it like this has never, ever felt like a job ever. Um, you know, if you enjoy it, was that Sumptorium? No, that was Matchstick. You know, if you enjoy what you do for work, it, it's never, it's never going to feel like a job. And that's, that's always been the case here. I will take time to plan it for show. Oh, show, especially with uh, with lump of coal here. I said for many, many years, my 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 tone and my stance has never changed on this job. I think that this job is, you know, it is a skill position, but there's also a huge amount of luck and also just a huge amount of support from people from strangers over the internet who give you this job you're you're given this job by people yes there are there's millions of people who try to do this for for a job and they fail because they either aren't entertaining or they just never found their footing or or you know they lose the passion for it, whatever and in my opinion i've always been of the uh, of the mindset that you know this is something this is a privilege that's given to you by your audience it's not something to be taken for granted. And that's something that I would never, ever do. Um, you know, I, I, again, I wake up every day in, in a house that this, that this career has, has basically paid for. And uh, that was the way I look at it. It's like this, you know, this house, this whole career was given to you by the people who watch you every single day. And you need to, you know, pay respects, pay homage, or just, you know, be, mindful and courteous to that fact because i think that a lot of that in this space gets lost in the sauce with, with influencers and streamers and tiktokers and you know whatever else i think that a lot of people do tend to forget that you know you like if oh my god i do think that a lot of people do tend to forget that like this is a job that is granted to you if no one's watching your stuff hey you can still do it for a hobby and everything but it ain't gonna be a job you're not gonna be able to live off of that Really think we need the Algis Rune. It's a sun card, reverse sun card. On goes Mama. No problem at all. Oh my gosh, tiny planet, please. Lots more money. Keeper Sack obviously was huge. I will take Iro Maniac, brother. Yeah, just to just to summarize the the raid the raid stream was it was a lot of fun, um, and it just sort of reaffirmed my it, it just reaffirmed my position that you know we have a very uniquely awesome community here in the mosh pit, whether it's on YouTube, whether on Discord, you know, with the Patreon, with with Twitch, with everyone, it's it's all the same support structure that um, that has been built over me doing this for the last over decade now and. I couldn't be more thankful and happy for that. Especially with stuff like today's meme of the day, you know, where the couple met just off of the sheer off chance that uh, they both happen to watch my stuff. That's just that, that kind of thing to me just blows my mind to hear um, in the most positive way possible. I mean, um, just because like the odds of that happening, I mean, again, my channel is not huge. You know, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a massive creator or anything like that. I don't have millions of subs. I don't have, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't go make public appearances and, you know, and I, and I don't intend to, I just, I just do what I do every single day. And that's more, I did not mean to take that, but we'll, might as well take it. That's, that's more than like I ever could have dreamed 
is just doing this for a living. And then on top of that, having people sort of connect and, and, you know, find their soulmates through these silly little videos that I do every single day is, is just truly amazing to me. It's an amazing, beautiful world we live in sometimes, not always, but sometimes. And, uh, that kind of stuff really just, it just makes me feel good. Uh, I mean, we can get four more items. We're not really even using sulfur anymore, so we might as well. Sure. We'll use Forget Me Now one more time. So thank you, Mosh Pit. Thank you for doing what you do and for allowing me to do what I do and support everything that I do um, unequivocally. I just want to say that I appreciate um, all of the support that I get from everyone out there. And, uh, you know, I've been doing this for quite a long time now, and I'm going to continue to do this for quite a long time because it's what I enjoy doing. And no one's going to be able to stop me because I'm just having too much fun. So, yeah, we'll go fight Delirium. Even though we don't have a whole lot of uh, damage or HP, you know what? I think we're going to be okay. If we had gotten the Red Portal, it would have taken us directly to Delirium, which would have been nice. Although I am now kind of questioning my losing of sulfur, sulfur here as I just now... I was reminded that I do not have sulfur, so this delirium fight's gonna be uh it's gonna be a little interesting. Could have just we could have victory lapped at home, but instead decided to decided to go after delirium here, and we're gonna see if that ends up biting me in the butt or not. Up is not gonna be hugely helpful here as we do have the void to contend with. We also have nine lives. We also have Juice's Shadow. The amount of damage that Tiny Planet does with Lump of Coal is uh, truly fascinating. <clears throat> the way that the shots kind of just line up in the air, just stay suspended like that. They basically infinitely spin as long as you're firing. And if Delirium gets anywhere near there, they just he just gets popped with just a ton of damage. Big Blood Bombs here just for the HP upgrade. There'd be a there'd be a soul heart in there. Get green bloat again, which is I almost feel like we were we were seeing green bloat in this I felt like we saw we already saw green bloat in the void. So you may have noticed that we didn't take any damage there from those barrels because obviously we have pyromaniac. We will still take damage from shots, though, which I do not want to take. Somehow along the way, we got Beelzebub. I'm not sure when, but... Uh, I'm going to go all the way to this boss over here because I have a feeling that it's probably Delirium, but the Void, you just never... You can never be too sure. The Rainbow Champion's in here. Oh, it's going to be Forsaken. Or frail, I mean. Oh my goodness. Well, um, yeah. I mean, we we talked about Libra. What was like a couple days ago? And yeah, we are. We're looking at lots of damage here. Unfortunately, our range is not good enough for us to hit Delirium as he is right now in this lamb form, which is really annoying. But as soon as the storm hits Delirium, yeah, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is the tiny planet storm here. Just a torrent of shots that just bombard Delirium. Especially when he goes in, like, that stationary form, like with Gertie. Yeah, it's, just, it's just too much damage for Delirium to... Not even Delirium can can survive this. But don't worry, he'll still, he'll still get the cheap damage on you. I don't even know what hit me up there. Down goes Delirium. No problem at all. I know we were on 1 HP, but again, it's just way too much damage for him to survive through. If we had more range, we would actually would have killed him even faster than that. So, seriously, thank you for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. Leave a comment down below. would love to see the like streak goal get back on schedule, but... If not a lot of people are feeling the Glitch Chaos run and we do happen to just restart it with something else, then I will. But, uh, yeah, if post them in the comments down below. Your question of the episode today is going to be, what did you think and what are your thoughts on Tiny Planet? 
Tiny Planet's one of those items that really I kind of flip flop back and forth over the years, but I do think that it is a net positive most of the time. Again, especially com combined with Lump of Coal. But post them in the comments. Top three uh, most upvoted get read in next week's episode. And thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, everyone. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some pages of mine like Dad of Two and Nicholas Fernald. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.